If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Some of you have been following this thing called I call the Little Free Surplus Project, which uh, where I've been uh, collecting uh, throwaway items and using them to make free disaster kits. In practice, I guess I spend on average about 70 cents per kit, but most of the stuff that I'm putting in here is uh, is just stuff that would have gone to waste if, if I hadn't uh, if I hadn't placed it. Uh, and I wanted to kind of show you how uh, you know, a typical kit looks. This one's probably a little bit better than the typical kit. It's further along. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> as you may be aware, dandelions are edible. So I've, you know, dandelions are free. So I, uh, you know, I've put, I've put some seeds in the, uh, in there. And uh, these are just grocery bags, which can be used as obviously garbage bags. Garbage bags do save lives. A uh, supporter of the project donated uh, this uh, old pair of scissors, which I, I have, uh, I've, I've sterilized it and then uh, put Vaseline on on it to keep it from rusting further. It's been a little bit, got a little bit rusty. Uh, but you know, it would have gone to the trash if we hadn't put it here. And a piece of, you know, pair of scissors can make the difference between life and death in some situations. These were also donated cotton balls every kit's a little bit different this is probably a little bit controversial here a, a used toothbrush but it has been sterilized toothbrushes of course are useful for cleaning your fingernails and you know if you sterilize it again you'd probably feel comfortable brushing your teeth with it if you didn't have anything else this is uh, I don't know what that is we'll come back to that in a minute probably uh, these are kind of old I don't use them much so I just put them in there. I never seem to use hand warmers. Somebody donated this. It's overkill. But, uh, you know, paper and pencil can be used with great effect in some circumstances. And uh, if you're in your car, you might not have both. This was donated. And this is a, uh, is just a, you know, CD copy of, Actually, nope. Okay, okay. Inside these bad CDs would be one, possibly two copies of disaster preparedness documents, about seven megabytes. So that's probably more like 20 megabytes worth of stuff. Keyword searchable information and just one or two documents on how to treat water and stuff like that. And stuff more complicated. This is a used sponge that was sterilized and run through the wash. Better to have one of those than no sponge at all. Cleanliness is uh, the key to survival in so many situations, as I understand it. This is uh, obviously what it is. You know, better to have some string than none. Now, uh, let's see. There's one thing, you know, I don't remember showing this to you. I think as I opened that kit, I did not see something that I thought was in there, and that is a vial of iodine which is really the most important thing to have in each kit. I am trying to put it in every kit. And yeah, it just, it just looks like it, it fell to the bottom here. So uh, this, and I would welcome some feedback on this because I couldn't find much information about it on the internet, but uh, this was originally 8% tincture iodine and I diluted it down uh, four parts water to one part of, of, the, the, of the iodine solution so it should be equivalent to 2% tincture iodine, which is the most common uh, tincture found in drugstores and so forth. But I'm not sure diluting it in water, I don't really know if that's okay or not. Um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't determine that from the internet, so tell me. Was I really supposed to dilute that in liquor? <laughs> because I, I think it comes in ethanol normally. Tincture of iodine does. But uh, let's see, someone donated a, uh, a blanket. And these really keep you warmer than you would think if you've never tried one. But of course, you can't really wear them while you're mobile. A couple rubber bands. Uh, by the way, I flossed or I uh, I uh, ran hand sanitizer over my hands before handling this because I'm probably going to give this away to someone else. I've already got enough kits of my own. Uh, 
This was donated some conditioner, which probably could be used to, to uh, moisturize, keep your skin from drying out and infecting. Twisty tie. There's a penny down there somewhere. Those always kind of seem to get hidden. But a penny can be used as a uh, poor man's screwdriver. Better than nothing. You see the Q-tips there. And some thread. I don't remember where I got that. Now there's, uh, as you saw earlier, there's a set of instructions for this kit. And uh, I have, uh, this, is a, just, this is a separate copy that it doesn't go in, in the same kit. But it's about five pages long. And it has, you know, instructions on how to treat water with bleach, how to treat water with iodine. Previously used paper, so nothing's really being lost. I'm trying to remember what else there is that I'd like to tell you about these kits. Well, uh, you're certainly welcome to participate in this project. You can bring me items if you live in New Hampshire or Colorado Springs, the two places I frequent the most. Uh, or you can provide me with space to give you kits and store the kits. Or you can just take kits from me. I'll be happy to give them to you. All right, I can't think of anything else to tell you. Uh, can you think of anything else to ask me? <clears throat> Put it in the comment section. The Little Free Surplus Project, like it or launch it, we're still doing business. Except for the business part. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.